What's a hill you're willing to die on every time? Unpaid internship are not good for students. A poor student can't afford the costs that go along with the internship. Agree. My daughter was working at a company making $23 an hour and now has to do an internship to get her master's. Internship is at same company and the university doesn't allow the company to pay her. It's the university? Forgive me, I don't know enough about academia or internships. What's the reasoning for the university to not allow payment? This is sadly pretty common. More and more degree programs are requiring internships and many times you're not allowed to have a paid one. You get paid in credit towards your degree, you know, the degree you're already spending tens of thousands, if not more, on. Higher ed is run by the same classist elites that run every other industry the only difference is how much they act like they're not ducking evil. Education is one of my biggest values but modern higher ed in many places has turned into a meat grinder that sucks the wealth and energy out of young people. Using your children as content for social media is child exploitation. People getting on subways or elevators before letting people off. Makes no sense. I say my piece every time I see it. I agree, but duck the people on the subway who take their sweet ass time getting up such that when everyone else is off and people are getting on they're going the wrong way. You should be on your feet ready to exit when the train stops. Move your asses people. Edit, yes. Obviously if you are an old man or a pregnant lady or otherwise moving as if you're injured or disabled I don't judge you for it. Keep the goddamn sponge out of the sink. Radio stations should play more than 250 songs. You're getting 250? I swear I could scrape most IOTA radio stations for rock and barely find 100 songs by 40 artists. Worked in radio when there were still thousands of U stations. Had a music library of 10, 000 plus albums. Approved playlist contained 200 songs. 10 songs on hot rotation, 40 songs on medium rotation, and 100 songs on low rotation. Jockeys could play two songs per air shift not on the playlist, but had to submit a list of five options, 24 hours in advance for approval of the two by the program director. That sounds absolutely miserable. Health insurance should cover the whole body. The fact that vision and dental are separate things is a pure cash grab. As a hearing aid wearer, I would like to add to the list of complaints, hearing isn't even an add-on option within insurance. They're classified as cosmetic. So is most dermatology. I find it ridiculous that I can't utilize a regular dermatologist unless it is suspected or confirmed that I have skin cancer. Won't even biopsy anything cosmetic. I have very fair skin and red hair. My younger sister is blonde with olive skin and has already had precancerous moles removed. When I was 10, a mole it had on my face my whole life started turning black, hurting, and bleeding. I think the shape changed a bit too, but I can't remember that much. Insurance refused to cover anything unless it already been diagnosed. My mom knew that she couldn't afford the biopsy and anything that would be covered by insurance, so she ended up having to pay for it to just be removed and hope that that solved the problem. I guess I haven't had any problems since, but damn. Disagreeing is not a personal attack. Also, you can listen to someone and understand what they're saying, without agreeing with them. Just because you don't agree, doesn't mean you're refusing to listen. You can pry my Oxford comma from my cold, dead, and angry hands. I came here just for this. Sincerely, a panda who eats shoots and leaves. I also came here just for this but unfortunately those around me won't be so lucky. Sincerely, a panda who eats, shoots, and leaves. The kind of people who want power are the worst kind of people to have power. Power should be a responsibility, not a reward. I've heard the phrase those who seek power rarely deserve it, and those who deserve it rarely seek it. This idea is at least as old as Plato who says something similar in Republic. It's not quite exactly that, but it gets the same idea across. Well, then, that is why good people won't be willing to rule for the sake of money or honor. You see, if they are paid wages openly for ruling, they will be called hirelings, and if they take them covertly as the fruits of their rule, they will be called thieves. On the other hand, they won't rule for the sake of honor either, since they are not ambitious honor lovers. So, if they are going to be willing to rule, some compulsion or punishment must be brought to bear on them that is probably why wanting to rule when one does not have two is thought to be shameful. Now, the greatest punishment for being unwilling to rule is being ruled by someone worse than oneself. 
and I think it is fear of that that makes good people rule when they do rule. They approach ruling, not as though they were going to do something good or as though they were going to enjoy themselves in it, but as something necessary, since it cannot be entrusted to anyone better than or even as good as themselves. In the city of good men, if it came into being, the citizens would fight in order not to rule, just as they now do in order to rule. There it would be quite clear that anyone who is really and truly a ruler does not naturally seek what is advantageous for himself, but what is so for his subject. Republic I 347 b, e. You can put A in front of a line to make it quote mode. Like this. Apologies mean nothing, without changed behaviors. This is part of the reason why I hate people who use apologies to get rid of tensions awkwardness. If you don't plan on changing the way you act, just leave the person alone. From one of my favorite books, do you know the Suli have no words to say I'm sorry? What do you say when you step on someone's foot? I don't step on people's feet. You know what I mean. We say nothing. We know the slight was not deliberate. We live in tight quarters, traveling together. Therese no time to constantly be apologizing for existing. But when someone does wrong, when we make mistakes, we don't say we're sorry. We promise to make amends. I will. Mati and Chevalier Lu. This action will have no echo. It means we won't repeat the same mistakes, that we won't continue to do harm. Nuclear power is the best middle step we can invest in to power us through building all the renewable energy. It provides great jobs, is exponentially cleaner than burning fossil fuels, and is safe when done properly. That money should be kept out of politics at every level. Let each candidate stand on their capabilities at an equal level, not by how much money they have or receive. Edit, I'm getting many direct messages about what you propose we do about it. We can pass legislation for a start but to do so you have to get out there and vote or register as a candidate. We have to make the more minor continuous local changes to eventually make the big nationwide changes. Look into your candidates, look at the laws they pass. It sucks I get it, we are all tired and just want to sleep, get high, play video games, and eat good food. But it is kind of our responsibility. Saying it doesn't matter is defeatist and I used to think exactly like that and some days still do. But the only way we push forward is together and by making our wants to be known. I'm not a smart person, and I may be naive, but I still hope we can change things. I earnestly wish I had an easy answer, and I wish I was the type of person that was smart enough to help solve these issues but I know I'm not. I do know I am the type of person that will do what I can to support those smarter and more capable than myself that are willing to make the changes to keep money out of our politics. If you still are able go and cast your ballot friends. Public libraries are undervalued by many. It's not babysitting when a dad is watching their own children, it is parenting. Children are legally required to be in school, and often have to stay in the building during lunch. We should feed them healthy, nutritious food for free. Every single child. Edit, thanks for the award. Please vote for representatives who will help children succeed. I'm a pirate historian and I can tell you for a fact that pirates never, ever buried any treasure. It sounds like you don't want us to find the treasure. Are you a pirate? Where are you hiding it? People are completely fine with immoral morally gray actions as long as it's someone they like doing it. Expansion on that thought. They're fine with horrible things being done to people as long as they feel no need to identify with the people having horrible things done to them. That 75% of the USA needs to retake an American government class. The fact that most people don't even know we have three branches of government baffles me. We all just need to rewatch Schoolhouse Rock. I'm just a bill sitting on Capitol Hill. Conjunction Junction, what's your function? Children beauty pageants are creepy as duck and parents who subject their children to such scrutiny and judgment are crazy, and don't deserve children. No one should need to go into debt for their health. Repeal Citizen United. Nothing to discuss. Politicians should have to list where every freaking dollar comes from. Or. Corporations are held to same cap as citizens. A $2,500 limit on all political donations per year. But, we would need to ban PACs as well to make that work. The corporation cap should literally be $0. There is no valid reason a corporation should donate to a politician in a democratic system. 